Chagu versus Knitter's Pride. Hi everyone, Norman here. Are you looking for some stainless steel interchangeable knitting needles with wire cords that never curl up? Well, then the name Chagu certainly should have popped up before. But about a year ago, Knitter's Pride also launched their Mindful collection with very, very similar features. And in this video, I want to compare these two sets with close-up macro shots of the tips, the joints, the cables and so on. So you are in a position to make an educated buying decision. Because after all, these sets here are not exactly cheap. So let's dive right into it and show you which of these two brands offers the best interchangeable knitting needles. A quick introduction. So here I have the Chagu Twist Red Lace Set. And this is the Knitter's Pride Mindful Set. This set is called Gratitude. Both are the five inch versions and the most complete sets that are available on the market right now. Knitter's Pride here is produced in Jaipur, India. And if you go to the Mindful website, you can actually see some pictures of their factory and their workers that work there. Chagu, on the other hand, is made in China by a company called Westin Bridge LCC somewhere in Hangzhou and the various other parts in other places in China we don't really know. Let's head over to my desk and take a close-up look at what's inside. Let's take a look at what's inside these bags first. As you can see, the Knitter's Pride bag is a little bit bigger than the one from Chagu. Both are covered in what I assume is just a simple cotton fabric. The Knitter's Pride bag is a little bit roomier inside and it is reinforced here while the Chagu bag is very very soft and a little bit more compact. No judgment here just stating facts. Both have the needle sizes as stitched here into the various slots for the needles and that makes finding the right needle a lot faster and easier and I love little details like these. Knitter's Pride has these little rubber bands here and I would personally say it's the superior system as the needles just can't fall out and you can actually see the body of the needles because you know sometimes you just place the wrong needle in the wrong slot and then you can instantly tell. Here with the Chagu bags, here the needles, they can fall out. Now, I mean not that easily, but they can fall out. But the bag also has a lot more space. So here in front of the needles, you could, maybe you, this is the five inch version and maybe you want some four inch uh, needle tips as well. And then you could store them here in front. What would I like to do is I open some of the seams and then I insert as my cords here for faster and easier access. There is also a zipper here on the back side where you can store more cords and you know notions and all the little accessories. The Knitter's Pride bag comes with another little bag here nestled inside and then you open it and there is a little zipper here and then there's another little bag well kind of like a Russian matryoshka. Personally I feel that this accessory bag allows for easier access and it's a little bit more organized. Here with these zippers, well, you are constantly searching around like, you know, in a too big purse to find something. Plus you could use this little, well, bag as a notion bag or even a small project bag. And there's no denying it's a lot bigger. The fabric is, however, a little bit coarser. Let's take a look at the needle tips first. The Knitter's Pride set comes with needles starting from three millimeter needles up to 12 millimeter needles. 
The Chagu set starts at 2.75 millimeters and goes all the way up to 10 millimeters. So I would say that the uh, Chagu interchangeable knitting needles might be the better choice if you need more flexibility here in a smaller size range while Knitter's Pride could be the better choice if you prefer bigger needles and chunkier yarn. Chagu comes with altogether 30 needles while Knitter's Pride only adds 12 to this big set. So when you make your buying decision definitely factor that in when you compare prices always look how many needles are included in the set. Here on the left this is Knitter's Pride and here on the right this is Chagu. And if you compare these two tips, you will be very, very hard pressed to find a meaningful difference. Just a very, very maybe the tip of those knitters pride, the very tip of those knitters pride needles is a fraction sharper than here these Chagu needles where it's a little bit, a tiny little bit more rounded. If you go up a couple of needle sizes, these are the 10 millimeter needles. Again, here is Knitter Sprite. This is Changu. You will see that the Knitter Sprite needles are again a little bit sharper. You will however notice that the Knitter Sprite needles here on the left side have a slightly longer taper. So it starts to get narrower starting from this point while the Chagu needles here, this is the start of the taper. So there is a tiny little difference. Now this is probably very difficult to see on camera but the Chagu needles, the tips, they are slightly sloped. See this? They, they are slightly sloped. Here the Knitter Sprite needles converge in a very straight line here at the tip and the Chagu, Chagu needles are slightly sloped with a little, well, for lack of a better word, with a little drop here at the tip. And this can be a little bit more ergonomic and prevent stitches from slipping off, well, only a fraction. It's, it might be only a fraction better than Nitrous Pride. But really for all practical applications I would say the differences for needle sizes up to 4 millimeters, 4 millimeters are so minor that it really doesn't matter. Here for these bigger sizes I would definitely say that Changu is a tiny bit blunter and that might be something an experienced knitter might notice when knitting cables without a cable needle or a complicated lacy uh, pattern or or you knit with a yarn that splits very easily, then it might be something you notice, but otherwise, well, they are about the same. Let's move a little bit further down here and take a look at the actual body of the needles. Both are stainless steel and they have the size printed on them. With Chagu it is a little bit harder to see while Knitter's Pride really uses bold letters. I personally find this is a little bit more inclusive. There is also here on the other side there is also a mindful word printed on them. So this one here says balance. Well you can like that or hate that I guess. I would say it's covered by stitches most of the time anyway, but well, it's nothing that adds value for me personally, but I'm also a very analytic person. Another thing that you will instantly notice is that while both needles are about the same size, uh, more or less when the cords are attached, well, the Chagu needles are maybe five millimeters longer. However, the Knitter's Pride needles taper off a lot earlier. So here they start to get narrow while the Chagu needles are probably, that's almost an inch of a difference. I see this as a pro and a con. So the smoother here this transition is, the easier your stitches will be able to slide onwards and the more seamless you can knit. 
And for patterns with a very tight gauge or a yarn that catches very easily, this can be a very important factor. I'm sure you all have been there where you need to push new stitches to your needle and they were kind of stuck. I do feel that the mindful interchangeable needles are a fraction, but only a fraction better in that respect because here here, the transition is a tiny bit more, well, it's, it's faster, I guess. On the negative side, and when we go to these bigger needles, you will notice that the actual needle body becomes rather short. And for me and my somewhat bigger hands, and mind you, my hands are still super delicate, I would definitely prefer the Chao Gu needles as they rest a lot better in my hands and at least for my style and the way I hold the needles. But of course, for some it might be the other way around and reaching around uh, such a big diameter needles is very uncomfortable. And the fact that the mindful needles uh, taper out a lot earlier makes things easier for you. And on that note, it this will be even more pronounced if you have the four inch set. So this is the five inch set and the four inch set will stop here. And so then the needle body will be very uh, short or at least the thick part. Here for these four millimeter needles, the differences are not noticeable. So here, I think I can hold these exactly the same, even though this one here tapers off a little bit earlier, but the taper is roughly the same size as, as the rest of the needles. So I think this is a difference that only affects the bigger needles. And of course, people who prefer to knit with these big needles. This also means that the Knitter's Pride needles are slightly lighter, but we are talking about a difference of maybe one and a half to two grams. So this needle here weighs around five grams and this maybe six and a half or so. Both needles are produced from stainless steel. They are hollow inside. And I would say that the Chagu needles are slightly slicker and maybe you can tell that the light reflects a fraction more from the Chagu needles. So maybe you can see this is the surface very very close up and maybe you can see that there are well not etching but there are little lines circling around the Chagu needles while the Knitter's Pride needles on the left are more or less polished. But mind you, the difference will be minor and it's not like the Knitter's Pride needles behave more like a bamboo needle and this one like coated steel or something like that. So it's a very, very, very tiny difference. I can't tell you anything about the durability or rather both seem reasonable durable and I haven't had any you know little dents scratches or any of them ending up crooked yet but I also have to be honest with you both are not my go-to needles and I don't knit with them every day just you know once in a while and so far they you know stayed the same. Knitter's Pride needles are produced from pure stainless steel. That is your typical chrome nickel alloy. So this means there are indeed traces of nickel in chrome included, just like probably 90% of all other stainless steel alloys. And it's very, very important to realize there is nickel included, probably up to 10%, uh, just like in any, any other surgical equipment, like when you're at the dentist or so, there's always a nickel included, but it is well included in the matrix of uh, the metal and it's not discharged into the environment or anything. So it's nothing you typically uh, notice and that's why doctors use this kind of stainless steel. Chagu, on the other hand, only says they are using surgical stainless steel, which is a generic term. And if you scroll through their FAQ section, it also says that it's in most cases not reactive to sensitive skin.
what does most cases mean? So I wrote them an email and they replied that they do not want to disclose the actual alloy claiming trade secrets. I do have to say that I find this very, very unprofessional because all the other needle companies I know disclose the actual alloy or the materials they were using. And setting aside that the consumer laws in most West Western worlds are clearly in favor of manufacturers listing the ingredients they are using and the origin of their products. Any chemistry lab worth their name could tell you the alloy as well if you're willing to spend those, I don't know, 300 or 500 US dollar to find out. So trade secrets really? Now of course I wanted to be fair and sent them a follow-up email to which they replied that my guesstimation of 10 to 12 percent nickel in these needles sounded about right. Again, why not say yes, this is the material we are using and this is where we are producing, like Nidostride does, like Adi does when you drop them an email or you can also find the information on their website. They don't claim trade secrets because the consumer has a right to know these facts. Now, of course, maybe I am a little bit too critical here. And I do want to stress that it certainly doesn't mean that these needles cannot be awesome for the right kind of knitter. And so many do enjoy them. But to me, when someone is a little bit too obscure, I feel it either means that they have something to hide or Perhaps they think the average consumer is a little bit too stupid to understand that an alloy with 10 to 12 percent nickel doesn't actually mean that people with nickel allergies or the average nickel allergy will uh, react to it. So take your pick. In terms of knitting noise, I would say that both are a little bit more on the louder side. Knitter's Pride produces a somewhat dull sound. while a chanku is a little bit higher and louder. When you glide the needles across each other, there is a noticeable, well, slightly grinding kind of noise. In both cases, I would say it's definitely something sensitive knitters will notice. And I would say Cha Gu is probably a little bit more intrusive. Let's move a little bit further down and take a look at the joints. Both sets require a little, well, pin or key to tighten the connection. And you will find a little hole at the end of the cables where you can insert the pin and then you can screw things tight and attach the needle tips to the cord. Here with Knitter's uh, Chaku, sorry, it works exactly the same. And if your hands or the needles are a little bit too slippery, you can use such a grip gripper to screw things even tighter. They don't come, uh, you have to purchase them. No set, none of the sets include them. Um, in the Chagu needles here, they have the screws at the end of the needles, whereas the Knitter's Pride needles have the screws at the end of the cables. For all practical reasons, I never really found a meaningful difference there. I do, however, have to mention that the Knitter's Pride cable connectors, or rather the cable connectors that are included in this set, they have other much smaller cable connectors as well, are very, very long. So if you want to stitch two cables together for an even longer cable, you can use these little connectors, but um, then you will end up with quite a long stiff section whereas the Changu connector or the standard Changu connector is very very short. So as you can see you end up with a much shorter stiff portion in your cable and this means if you plan to knit very very huge projects like blankets or so or very very big lace shawls where you need cables that are I don't know two meters long or something like that I probably think you will enjoy the 
Ch Chagu system more because this is here quite a long section that is a little bit too stiff in my opinion. However, Nitro Sprite also has shorter connectors. Now there's probably another difference you will instantly notice. So this connection here, the Chagu connection is, is or seems to be stainless steel all the way through but here with the knitter's pride needles this is stainless steel but here this is coated so this actually is lead free brass copper and then chrome plated i don't actually know why they do it probably because it's easier for them to to produce still that's you know something to notice i don't think it actually matters still um, here you have a little bit of chrome plated brass, chrome copper. Now this is super super difficult to show but here on camera, but we, here we have a super close up macro shot of the joints and I hope you can see that both are fairly good but the Chagu is a tiny little bit smoother or rather you don't notice it at all when you glide over it whereas here with the knitter's pride needles you do notice a tiny little step at least if you uh, glide over it uh, with your fingers with your yarn you actually don't really notice it in my experience at all but here it is visible so here we have the Chagu transition and as you can see the yarn glides across it effortlessly and it doesn't get caught. And here is the nearest pride connection. The yarn doesn't get caught either however uh, as I glide across I do notice that this section here is a little bit smoother than the rest so this is why as I glide here across I don't know how well you can see it but there's a little step it there's a little step and that is probably because of the different friction here so I would definitely say that the production standards and qu the quality control at the Chagu factories is maybe a little bit higher. There is nothing here with these knitters pride needles. There's nothing that will typically catch the yarn, but sensitive people might still notice it, whereas this is utterly seamless. However, you will also notice that the knitter's pride needles, you can screw them a little bit tighter. Because even if you use these grip grippers, by the way, they are not included in either set and you have to buy them separately. In fact, I would say it's quite negative in both cases. The Chagu needles here are more likely to unscrew, both in my knitting experience and the force you need to unscrew them. I guess these joints are manufactured too perfectly, so it, well, smoothness goes both ways and here you need a little bit more force. So whenever you're knitting with interchangeable knitting needles, I recommend checking those joints ever so often regardless. Now, of course, this largely will depend on your knitting style and the kind of projects you are using and the type of uh, cables you are using. So this is far from a general rule. I can only state uh, my experience and the facts here. Oh, and the pins of the Mindful Collection are a little bit nicer if you ask me. Also, they are not sharp. I hope you can see this. They are not sharp. And I too would say this is an advantage as you are less likely to hurt yourself when th things slip out of your hand. And of course, they do come in this little pouch compared to uh, well, this simple plastic bag. Let's take a look at the cables next. For the longest time, these cables were what set Changu apart. They are coated wire and this means they don't curl up. So if you ever knitted with a plastic cable, you will notice that they always curl up and that can be a little bit annoying. So the Chagu cables are slightly translucent uh, where you can see, maybe you can see it, the wire peeking through below. In contrast, the Knitter's Pride cables are, you can't see the wire underneath, maybe a hunch of a hunch. 
and you might notice that they are at least for this size here they are a little bit thinner not much but a little bit despite being thinner they are a little bit less flexible than the Chagu cables. This is probably very very difficult to show on camera but I'm trying to exert the same kind of force and you can see that the Chagu cables are a little bit more flexible. Because they are less flexible they are in my experience also a little bit easier to create kings when you step on them or sit on them or so but I also do feel it's a little bit easier to massage the kings out of the cables. Now the difference is I would say very very minor but still something I feel like addressing. There are however two major differences you need to be aware of. So the gratitude set, the mindful interchangeable knitting needles, they come with normal cables. So this is a normal cable and they also include, Nina's Pride also includes swivel cables. I don't know how well you can see this but here I can rotate this cord around or this connector piece around and this means uh, when you are knitting and you are switching between right and wrong side and so on even if the cables twist or curl up uh, they things can always balance itself out and I feel especially beginners really enjoy this. So the Chagu set only comes with these fixed cables so here nothing rotates around they recently also uh, released uh, swivel cables and they come as part of the uh, very expensive Fortis set and you might be able to source them separately however they are not included in the standard sets. Personally I don't like swivel cables all that much because there needs to be a little bit of a well gap between the cable and the connector because otherwise it wouldn't be able to rotate around but this also means that the yarn is more likely to get caught here especially if things are not straight but uh, a little bit crooked of course if you always keep your cable straight as you push new st stitches to the needle this uh, you probably won't notice it but I personally don't like that all that much. Another major difference is that for the mindful set you only need one type of cable and you could if you wanted to attach a 3 millimeter needle on this side and a 12 millimeter needle on this side and all the cables the swivel cables and the normal cables work for all needle tips. Chagu on the other hand works with different cable sizes so there are the uh, mini cables they are the uh, small cables and the medium or large cables and you cannot attach a size uh, 10 millimeter needle here to this cord it just doesn't work you have to use this cable and uh, likewise you can't attach this 2.75 millimeter needle to this end of the cord you have to use this cable. So why does this matter? Well first of all a lot of people when they're knitting in the round they use one needle size smaller here on the left side. So maybe four millimeter needles here and five millimeter needles here. And since the left hand needle only acts as a stitch holder and if it's a little bit smaller it's a lot easier to insert the stitches. And on top of that if you own a knitter's pride set and you have one 40 inch cable well then you are set. However if you own the Chagu set and you have maybe one uh, small cable that is 40 inches but you want to use the bigger bigger needles well then you have to buy another cable or use one of these well little connector pieces where you can you have to buy them separately and then you can of course use the bigger needles with the smaller cables but this means you end up with two little connections here, two little pieces where the needles get gradually wider so that is quite annoying I think. But while we're at it let's talk a little bit about the accessories. What's in 
included in these sets other than the needles. So both sets come with needle stoppers and you can use them and attach them to the end of a cable and then you can use the cables as a stitch holder maybe because you need to put stitches on hold or because you need the tips for a different project and I do feel that the Chagu cable stoppers are a little bit well they're both prettier and sturdier and here you have a little metal piece at the end of course you need of course you need different stoppers for each little cable the knitter's pride set only comes with this li these little well plastic things and they don't have oops they don't have any metal inside here so you are screwing into plastic and I do feel this often doesn't work all that well so I think well they're pretty uh, but, and color coordinated but not all that useful. Both sets also come with stitch markers and here I would say Knitter's Pride wins because they include a wide range of different markers for different occasions. So you get these, well, ring shaped stitch markers and then the security pin kind of stitch markers you can fasten and then uh, remove later on and here you have these, well, these are kind of unique but they are quite nice if you just want to count rows or so then you can just simply hook them in. Chaku only adds these uh, ring shaped stitch markers. They are nice of course and they look pretty nice I think however uh, they you can't uh, remove them anymore so there's only a limited number of uh, use cases and also they are rather thick and that makes it quite easy to mess up your stitch definition so I personally don't use them at all and these are I mean it's plastic but they are okay. Both sets also come with cable connectors as I previously mentioned and here you get two in each case but do remember Remember that uh, you can only use these for the respective cable so it's actually just one if you will. Knitter's Pride also adds and that's something Chagu doesn't they add little tapestry needles to their sets they're pure plastic so I'm not sure how useful they are for any advanced knitters but for a beginner I think it is a welcome addition. Both sets also add a needle gauge or the larger sets do here. This is the one by Knitter's Prime with uh, imperial and European sizes on either side. So quite nice and sturdy here. The Chagu, so I like the fact that they added a ruler to it. However, I just wish it would be more just than a thin flimsy plastic card. As a whole, I think here in the Chagu sets there is a little bit more plastic involved. So all the little accessories come in their own little plastic pouch. Knitter's Pride doesn't do that and the only little pouch you get is this cotton uh, pouch and I think that is quite cute for the little pins and so on. I think this is quite cute here. I don't know, if you buy a full set you get like five, six, seven of these little plastic pouches and if you ask me that's just not needed. Now I definitely also want to talk about production standards. As I said in the introduction Knitter's Pride produces in Jaipur, India. That's where their headquarters and their factories are located and at least according to their website they are making an effort to be more inclusive towards women and equal pay still a very big issue in the country and they are trying to uh, to focus on sustainability which is an equally big issue in the country or worldwide really now Anyone who has ever visited actual factories in India will probably be able to tell you uh, that you have to take this with a grain of salt. When it comes to work ethics, working hours and so on, there are still big, big differences when you compare India to, say, Europe. Still, I do like the fact that they are very transparent about who and where they produce and whenever I sent them an email, I always got a very, very clear answer. 
When it comes to Chagu, things sadly get a little bit murky. So on their website, they say that the needles are produced in China by a company called Hangzhou Westing Bridge LCC. And the way I understand the company structure is that they then ship the needle sets to the various distributors around the world. And one of them is Amer apparently uh, Chagu America. So I sent them an email and the only thing I received was Westing Bridge is a family business located in Hangzhou, uh, China. We produce the needles and work with partners to make the various parts and pieces. I cannot tell you more than that. Uh, from personal experience, I would say when companies are a little bit too shy to share these details, it's, well, at least the first warning sign. I can tell you that Nearest Pride always replied to my emails in a very direct manner. Do with that information, you know, different people have different expectations. I can only share my experience and my views here. And of course, uh, this is only the surface. I didn't visit either the Chagu factories nor the Nearest Pride factories. So what's my final wording? I would definitely say that you notice that Changu has the slightly better quality management or production standards. However, you can also tell that Nearest Pride definitely focused on creating a visually cohesive set or product with accessories that really make sense. I am not sure about their whole well, mindful approach. Well, let's say it doesn't speak to me personally. But of course, you know, if there's something etched on the needles and so on, it doesn't really hurt me either. And I can well imagine that some customers appreciate that a company is finally also focusing on more just producing mere tools wrapped into much plastic. I like that this is basically a set as that you can use as it is, while for Changu you will probably end up buying additional rather expensive accessories in the long run. Now both sets can be very versatile and if you compare the tips and the actual needle body again you will see that the differences are minor at best for uh, the needle say from three to five millimeters. And of course you can combine both of these sets with all the other uh, needles and hooks and whatnot both brands offer. Knitter's Pride here uh, has of course the wider product range. So they also have aluminum needles, carbon needles, wooden needles, bamboo needles, square needles, coated metal needles, plastic needles and whatnot. And so on. Chagu has uh, the more limited uh, but still big product range. But very important, they offer, Chagu offers interchangeable knitting needles that go below three millimeter needles. And that's definitely something to consider. While there's right here, you have to switch to fixed circular needles if you say need two millimeter needles. So if you prefer small needles, then I would probably go for uh, Chagu. All in all, uh, Knitter's Pride is typically a bit or a lot cheaper than Chagu, especially if you look at uh, some of their entry level materials and set. And here in Europe, the difference is even a little bit more pronounced. And you also have to consider that uh, these mindful needles come in various different sizes and sets. So I think it can be the better option for budget sensitive needles knitters. If you are in for the long run and enjoy these small needles, I think that uh, and you don't need all these different needle materials and you are fine with stainless steel and bamboo needles, then Chagu might be the better option. At the end of the day, both can be a very great choice and a lot of the differences I showed and mentioned in this video are probably nothing an intermediate knitter will actually notice in the difference and at least not in terms of knitting speed or ease. I don't think there will be a dramatic difference. 
Now, to me, it seems quite obvious that Miller's Pride kind of copied, or let's say they were inspired by the success of the stainless steel needles by Changu and their coated wire cables. Then again, uh, Changu recently copied the basic idea behind the lantern moon needles with their recent photo collection, so I would say the score is a bit even. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any questions. Happy knitting and enjoy the rest of your day!